The main idea behind Surat al-Falaq is that there are cer certain hidden forces in the creation that can affect us. So Allah talks about uh, magic, He talks about jealousy, and these are things that we can't normally see, but they can affect us in one way or another. And so, okay, you can have several possible responses to that. You can live your life in fear, right? You can shut yourself up in the room, you can never leave the house, you can kind of become a hypochondriac about it. Paranoia is the word for it, I guess. Or you can put your trust in the Creator who allowed all of these things to be possible in the first place. And if you put your trust in the Creator and you're sincere and you try your best to be a righteous person, you can trust that whatever is going to happen to you is going to be good. Even if you have to suffer some in this life, you can be sure that it's going to be good for you in the afterlife. Like the Prophet ﷺ said when he said that for a believer, everything's good. If some sort of bad thing happens to him, then he's patient and it ends up being good for him. And if something good happens to him, then he's thankful, he's grateful for it, and it ends up being good for him too. So Allah reminds us to put our trust in him because no matter what the forces are out there that are against us, whether they're hidden or apparent, seen or unseen, he's the one that controls them all at the end of the day.